Jewel burst onto the music scene in 1995 with her debut album Pieces of You selling over 12 million copies worldwide. And while she enjoyed a successful music career, she also ventured into writing and acting, before seemingly retreating from the spotlight. Here's why it seems like she completely faded away. In July 2014, Jewel announced her split from nine-time world champion rodeo cowboy Ty Murray. In a blog post titled Dear World, the musician explained, My husband, friend, and partner of 16 years and I have decided to get a divorce. My ideal, my dream, my hope was to have a family. Losing the fantasy of the family that I wanted was probably the most heartbreaking Isn't aspect it? of a divorce. In a move not unlike Gwyneth Paltrow's quote, conscious uncoupling from Coldplay's Chris Martin, Jewel called her her breakup from Murray a, quote, tender undoing of ourselves. The singer shared a joint statement written with her now ex-husband, which read, Our dedication to our son is unwavering, and we are both committed to being the best partners in raising our son. We're very aware that having a divorce doesn't get you out of a relationship, um, so we're very dedicated to being great parents. Murray has since gone on to marry sports reporter Paige Duke, and the uncoupled couple continue to co-parent their son, Case Murray, who was born in 2011. Six years later, Jewel opened up to Reuters about life as a single mother, saying, You have to let go of the myth of perfectionism. Single parents always feel like a failure if they are working and raising a child at the same time. But you are not a failure, and you don't have to do things perfectly. A regular fixture on his mother's social media, Case appears to have inherited Jewel's musical talent and showmanship. The singer told People magazine in 2018 that her son, quote, got up on the stage in San Diego in front of 15,000 people and played ukulele. Maybe one day we'll get a duet from the mother-son duo. Jewel isn't the only member of her family in the spotlight. Her father and brothers star on the Discovery Channel reality show Alaska The Last Frontier, and the singer has even appeared on several episodes herself. Jewel's relationship with her father, Otz Kilcher, has been well documented. She wrote in her 2000 memoir, Chasing Down the Dawn, He disliked me at my first cry. He was critical and impatient, suspicious, and harsh with me. You know, we all kind of figure it out as we go along. Jewel is on much better terms with her father these days and even went on tour with him as well as her brothers Otz Lee and Nikos in 2018. And speaking of the family embarking upon Jewel's handmade holiday tour together, she told reporter newspapers, Each of my brothers and my dad write, and they have their own style so my son can see that he has a unique voice and he doesn't have to be like me or like anyone else. He can discover who he is. Jewel has truly crafted her live performances into a family affair. Jewel branched out into acting fairly early in her career, receiving great reviews for her performance in 1999's Ride with the Devil, but it wasn't until the 2013 TV movie Ring of Fire that she took on the lead playing June Carter Cash opposite Matt Ross as Johnny Cash. I'd like to sing you a song my mama sings. She sings it because it's hers. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss June Carter! The part seemed to stoke Jewel's acting fire as she soon scored the leading role in Hallmark's The Fixer Upper mystery movie series. Jewel has starred in three of the Hallmark favorites to date. As for whether she'll return to the role, Jewel told Parade in 2017, I signed on for potentially nine, so it depends on the ratings. For me, the most exciting thing about the project is that I get to portray a woman whose superpower is basically intuition and the willingness to follow her own gut. The singer-actress also took on an important role behind the scenes, adding, My role as an executive producer is to look at the script, look at the storyline, and make sure we're comfortable with the actors in the film. Co-star Colin Ferguson is definitely a fan of this multi-talent's work on the series, as he told Media Village, It would be really difficult to not have chemistry with Jewel because she is really, really nice. When you have someone at the top setting that tone, it makes everybody sort of go, Okay, we're going to deliver every day. She may have started her career in music, but in recent years, Jewel has diversified her offerings to fans. In 2016, she launched the website Never Broken, which is described as your personal roadmap to help you calm anxiety and access your own inner knowing so you can learn to make happiness a habit. It's being aware that we are the observer of our thoughts and to constantly develop that relationship with the observer. The site provides visitors with exercises and workshops to help them develop the tools they need for self-reflection, to explore their emotional fitness, and to find happiness. The following year, Jewel announced that she'd launched an organization called Jewel Inc., making it clear that she was ready to spread her message of hope to the masses. According to Fortune, the aim of the company is to, quote, bring mindfulness tools and curriculum to businesses 
changes in order to help shift company culture and care for holistic well-being of employees. So far, the musician has partnered with the shoe giant Zappos. She explained to Parade, A lot of it is about learning how to get rid of the anxiety and the static that keep you from hearing your own inner voice and your own inner knowing. Something that Jewel regularly talks about is the time she spent living in a car before she was discovered. But not everyone realized the extent of Jewel's troubles until she revealed the truth behind her homelessness. Speaking at the 2017 SALT conference in Las Vegas, Jewel explained, I was a homeless kid who was stealing. I didn't have $40 to buy a dress, much less to get any housing. In a previous interview with Today, Jewel recalled, I remember washing my hair at a bathroom sink in a Denny's, and I was using the hand towels to dry my hair and people looked at me like I was absolutely disgusting. I wanted to yell at them and say, I'm human, I may not have a house, but I matter. The car I was living in got stolen, so that's how I ended up homeless. Jewel also gave a speech at a private event in 2018 in which she explained via Variety, I am still on the streets, helping homeless kids. I travel all around the country. People need help. They are struggling. They are medicating. They are hurting themselves or others. I have been finding ways to help. Spinning her past struggles into hope for the future, the singer is using her own experiences to help others and make change happen. With a name like Jewel, it only makes sense that the singer-songwriter would be a lover of jewelry. And she decided to start an accessory line called Songlines after meeting designer Christopher Beaver. Of the company's key tenets, their website explains, We assembled or made from scratch every single piece in our lines, imbuing each object with the spirit of friendship, generosity, and kindness, the latter of Jewel's keystone values. As for the other artists in the Songlines collective, they all credit Jewel as their, quote, beloved muse. And it's clear that the entire initiative is close to the musician's heart. As for exactly why she got into the jewelry business, Jewel told Forbes in 2018, "...because I grew up on a ranch. I always use nature as a marker point. I would find a feather, and it would remind me to look at my life in a larger perspective. Or the sun represents living in openness without shame or secrets. Each piece is meant to represent a value or embody gratitude and being kind to others." Life is full of beauty and it's also full of pain for everybody. You know, your story can make you more exceptional instead of damage. In her ever-personal lyrics, Jewel has always explored human nature and her connection to the world around her. Through her jewelry collection, the musician has offered her fans objects of beauty that are inspired by the earth and elevated with the qualities she holds dear. Jewel's career path hasn't always been an easy one. From her difficult beginnings as a struggling artist to the mixed reactions some of her albums have received, the star has faced a variety of challenges, and even successes, such as her burgeoning acting career and a worldwide fan base, have presented their own problems. As Jewel told the Daily Gazette in 2018, I did a movie and got really good reviews as an actress in Ride with the Devil, and after that I quit doing movies because having two careers meant working 365 days a year. And it meant I'd probably never have a relationship. I quit touring Europe, Asia, and Australia because I'd have to be gone for two years at a time. I've made a lot of decisions where I tried to really invest in what I hoped to have for a life in harmony." The singer-songwriter even confessed that music has never been her number one priority. She revealed, "...I made a promise to myself that my number one job is to be a happy, whole human, and my number two job was to be a musician. I've stayed true to that and that's why I took years between records." Despite having to make the those hard decisions throughout her career, Jewel has achieved more than many would ever hope to, but it makes sense that she took some time out of the spotlight, too. In 2018, Jewel accomplished something truly magical by starring in a Cirque du Soleil show called One Night for One Drop. According to USA Today, the show was set to, quote, raise about $5 million for One Drop, a nonprofit that provides access to water and sanitation to low income populations. I approached them and said I would like to volunteer my life story and volunteer my time and help out with the cause, and it's been incredible to see my life story come to life with these incredible artists. As People Magazine reported, Jewel's costume was designed to be reminiscent of Alaskan wildlife, but the singer's role described as that of a, quote, ethereal guide for the main character's journey. Featuring songs from all throughout her career, the one-night-only event was a unique chance for fans to experience Jewel's music in an unexpected way. Of the performance, Jewel told People, 
Working with the Cirque team has been an incredible experience in art and craftsmanship. The people are all incredible. The way I'm being transformed into a whole new person, I feel like a princess, or more like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. According to USA Today, the show's storyline was derived from Jewel's own life, from a quote, childhood without running water, to time spent homeless before making it big. The Cirque team reinvents one night for one drop every year, and Jewel's appearance in 2018 will remain unforgettable. Having portrayed June Carter Cash in Ring of Fire, Jewel landed the opportunity of a lifetime when she was asked to write and record a song for a new Johnny Cash album. 2018's Forever Words featured Jewel alongside other world-famous artists, including Casey Musgraves, Willie Nelson, Elvis Costello, Chris Cornell, and Alison Krauss. Discussing the album with Alabama.com, Jewel said, "...you don't go bebopping through your life thinking you're going to have a co-write with Johnny Cash." While Cash passed away in 2003, music musicians were asked to create new tracks based upon the legend's handwritten words and poetry. Speaking about the daunting task of writing a new Johnny Cash song, Jewel told the outlet, "...I had to try and take it in stride and not get intimidated by it. They were very poetic lyrics. I think that song in particular is so tender. I don't know that people really knew that side of him." Jewel wrote the song Body on Body, and according to Johnny's son John Carter Cash, the singer was one of the first people he approached to take on his father's words. He revealed on the album's official website, I had worked with Jewel before. The first time back in the 1990s, she actually opened a show for my father in Europe. I believe it's something my father would have loved also." Just a natural connection because she loved my parents so much. Jewel may have been out of the musical spotlight for several years, but she's hoping to turn that around. Writing always came quick for me. I usually will sit down and I'll write a song that'll just come out typically. Doesn't mean it's good but it'll come out." In late 2018, the singer revealed that she started work on a new album with an important purpose, telling Alabama.com that she hopes to "...address the gap I see between where culture is and what they're seeing reflected back to them in the media and arts." Because right now, I think we're being given very vapid and very shallow images of what we should feel like, what we should act like. And people don't feel that shiny, perfect, or beautiful. They feel scared and they have anxiety. The musician had confirmed her forthcoming album in an interview with Forbes, emphasizing the role social media has played in, quote, "...telling us to be more perfect," Jewel said, "...nobody feels that way. So I'm going to go back to make music." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite artists are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.